You're getting HSR footage in the background for now because I am, oh, I unlocked this, this new wallpaper, because I am playing this and uh, I'm not gonna be honest, uh, Blue Archive is so fucking difficult to get running properly on PC sometimes. Why do we not have a BA launcher? Like, can somebody explain that to me? I legitimately want one. I feel like it'd be great if Nikkei can have it, Reverse 1999 can have it, and Hoyo's games can have it. I feel like Blue Archive can get us a PC launcher. Please. The game isn't well optimized to begin with. I, plus, like, let's be honest here. I would love to have a live 2D. Actually, actually, hold up. My normal wallpaper is just this. Do I have anything? I'll just fucking crop out the sides. My normal wallpaper is hotter. Like, I, I legitimately like this. So I feel like we could do a lot with just giving us access to these as just a give us the game. I would legitimately leave BA open if all I if I all I could do was just have like the wallpaper itself because that's all I need. I would just have the game open solely for the background and the music is nice too. I don't I don't mind it. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna be honest. Blue Archive, in my opinion, I have spoken about this numerous times from the community itself to the gameplay. Yada yada. yada. I have said I recommend you play the game strictly for the characters and i don't recommend that you get too serious about the game or that you can look up the art itself and not play the game both are fine i think the story exceptional i think the character design exceptional i think the music wonderful every track is a banger i don't like the gameplay as much and it's a bitch to get running on pc like yeesh. i'm honestly like can we get a, I, I want just give me a pc launcher please if reverse can have it if genjin can have it star rock can have it and we're and uh like what's what's the other one nikkei if nikkei can have it too i i think we legitimately just deserve one i don't fucking i'm not reading this shit first answer every time first answer every time we all hate sambo first answer every time i legitimately believe that ba one of the exceptional things about blue arcade not just in its community but also in the game itself is that you can have these characters that are hot that have great art or great porn or really nice live today's and people were like those like i'm not gonna lie i love azuna's live today i it was probably the intro for this video actually yeah that is a good idea me i need to make it an intro cut this out um i legitimately do believe that one of the exceptional things about ba is that you have a lot of individuals i think and most of the fandom i believe do simp for a character whether it's azuna whether it's hifumi whether it's hoshino it doesn't matter I think that you have a lot of people who do love and simp for their characters, but as opposed to most games where it's just that simping, 9 times out of 10, if you start out simping for a character, you will legitimately end up caring for the story, caring for what they're in, the alt outfits. You're not just pulling because, oh my god, I think X character is hot and I legitimately like the design. You're pulling because you legitimately got attached to this character, and I, I think that's great. I would always prefer having a legitimate character that I like the personality of and that I can get attached to rather than just having a design that I like. Because that's that's bluntly speaking what it is. If you only like a character for the appearance, you're just attached to the design, not that character themselves. And a couple of times I'd say, you can have situations where it's because the character doesn't actually have a personality. But in, in like a blue archive, every character has a personality. They have their own set goals. They have their own friend group. They have their own you know ambitions. And, and I do believe that the personalities are relatively consistent throughout, not just the original storyline. I'm not talking about, when I say storyline originally, I mean not the main story, but I'm talking about if you get Hoshino, her student, normal variation, and that is her baseline. That is the original Hoshi versus getting, say, the swimsuit version, Hoshino, like that variation. Or Hina's normal variation versus the swimsuit versus the dressed up formal occasion. So I think that one of the benefits is that these characters, even though they have alts, their alternate outfits are just outfits. They feel like just outfits, strictly because the character is mostly consistent and when i say mostly i mean yeah the affiliation they have as in like their specific weaknesses are they explosive type are they piercing type so on mystic those may change but the character themselves their personality isn't so dramatically different that you feel like it's somebody else entirely you are 9 10 out of 10 just getting a different the same character in a different outfit and i think that is great because it allows you to feel comfortable comfortable and confident that if you pull for x character you are still getting x character if you like hoshino no matter what, the character you get named Hoshino, whether it's swimsuit, whether it's normal variation, will be the same. They will act the same. Like, yeah, you have jokes and stuff in the community itself. But the devs, like, have you watched any, if you've watched any Blue Archive live stream, the developers are just as uh, a down bad as the player base. And I think that's exceptional because it means that there isn't a disconnect. It's not like the players, 
are like these horny play these horny individuals and the devs think they're making like a super wholesome game or even just don't acknowledge it the devs acknowledge it and they're pretty blunt about it and i think that makes the community far more happy because it means you're less inclined to get the individuals who are like oh my god these are children running into your community and blue archives self-moderation does that wonderfully because it's not like anyone who plays the game tries to hide their interest for the characters they play the game and they're like yeah i want to smash this character kakona absolutely shun little shun absolutely so you have these units that regardless of circumstance are still viewed very highly by the community not just in terms of their art not just in terms of like you know who they are connected to or things like that but wholeheartedly strictly because they're a great character they have good friend relationships and they are actually attached to their storyline like whether they're in this act or whether they're in this club story it doesn't matter or the events i have done so many events strictly because a character i like is in them auto like the swimsuit version was great also they, they get them out like some great characters out for free i'm not talking about getting great in gameplay i don't i don't really use swimsuit kakaru or like cheerleader hibiki but does ramen not cook but like i thought that's a good team yeah yeah i feel like it's so nice to give them out regardless because they have fully developed relationship storylines. They have fully developed live 2D art. It's not like you're getting a subpar character in terms of the design aesthetic. You're getting a character that is good, a character that has significant effort put into them, and a really nice storyline. Koharu's swimsuit variation storyline was better to me than her original story. And I feel like it is once again something that I personally am very happy with and very, you know, I, I like it in general. The concept that you can have a, a game where the player base is horny, where the player base knows and you can make great art, where the player base is down bad, like very, very down bad. But everyone, even though they have a character they like, legitimately cares about the character's well-being, legitimately cares about what that character is involved in, who they know, their friends, their ending story, like will they have a happy ending? Do they Are they sad? The Blue Archive anime, I'm excited for. I want to watch that and I will make videos on that. And even from a basic standpoint, let's say hypothetically you don't play the game, you don't play the story. Like, I'm going to be honest, for the longest time, I'd say maybe up until like year two of BA, maybe, maybe yeah, year two-ish, I did not touch the story. I started the game, I played a little bit of the story, I got Azuna, I cared about Azuna, and that was it. I did the event with her, and that was it. I only leveled up my characters, and I only pushed into the story to skip it so I could actually get to the next stage to get more resources for my characters. I didn't care about the story. And what that meant was, for me at least, I still, uh, uh, most in most game circumstances, if I were to play the game and not play the story at all. Like, I, I feel like in this case, in this case, you have a lot of individuals who don't care about the story. And what that means is as a whole, actually, what is this? I feel like what you're left with, regardless of circumstance, is that if you skip the story in most games, you are kind of out of the loop. You don't understand what's happening, why people care about a character like Farina and so on. But in Blue Archive, you can legitimately skip the story and still care about certain characters because you've done the relationship stories, because you've done the events, because you've participated in other things. And even if you don't read the story because you don't like the gameplay, the player base is pretty willing to summarize things for you. Like, I, I legitimately believe Blue Archive's fandom and player base is one of the best off the strict basis that it self moderates so much that if you come in there trying to start shit they kick you out if you come in there saying oh my god lolly is bad they kick you out they are very good at keeping their community and not necessarily tame but more so the same they don't like things that come in and fuck up the vibe of the whole theme which is why when maxwell tried to play the game or when he announced he was going to be he was playing it and you had a bunch of tourists come in and check out the game. The BA community was like, fuck no, 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 no. And I, I think in that position, them being so open and blunt about them liking Lolly does have the benefit of it keeps people who wouldn't like the subject out altogether because like that's the pedal game. And regardless of circumstance, I think that having that moniker is helpful. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, otherwise you're gonna end up like the Genshin fandom. And we all, we all, we all see what happened there. If you're a Genshin player like me, I look guys, we are, we are not getting a happy ending with the game. Specifically because we're not getting a happy ending with the fandom. But yeah, I legitimately believe that one of Blue Archive's strongest suits and, and best feats, in my opinion, is the ability to create a game that's down bad, create a fandom that's down bad, but give them more than just a hot design. Give them a legitimately good story, give them legitimately good characters, and develop all of the many units, because my god, there's so many, and they're all added to standard mostly. So, yeah. Honestly, just play it. Play it. I like I like BA. I like Nikkei. I like Reverse 1999. I would say BA has is the best I would play, strictly because the characters themselves. Nikkei is the most middle ground to me. 
and reverse i don't know i, I reverse is kind of iffy because no relationship stories and i i'm i mauled every day at that either way subscribe and i'll see you next time